So here's just a very simple screenshot of what we pulled together between our oncology teams as to what we were going to include in our biomarker testing panel. You can see that this order pops up. The MET exon 14 deletion analysis is open. So you can see what this looks like. It is all pre-checked. So all of these are already all pre-ordered. If the oncologist wants all of these tests, they just hit send and it goes. What's interesting about this, this panel is we chose to do individual markers versus like a next gen sequencing panel. There were several different reasons our organization decided to do that. One of the reasons is, is we don't do in-house testing. Ours is all reflex testing. And as tests change and billing practices change and options are available, we wanted the flexibility to move it in and move it out as needed. Um, it also gives us the opportunity for PL1, for example, to say, if we perform that in-house, we can just change this order to route in-house versus to route to a, a reference lab queue. So we were very thoughtful. Um, you may be in a situation where one next gen sequencing panel, whether it's in-house or reference laboratory would work for you. This is just what we used in our experience. And it works quite well. Um, our pathology administration team actually receives the orders once they're placed by oncology. They receive them, they pull the cases, they send them out to our reference laboratory for testing.